In this presentation, we propose a quasi-direct drive actuation system for a lightweight hip exoskeleton with high back drivability and high bandwidth. This system is lightweight, highly back drivable with a high controller bandwidth and high nominal torque output. And we will highlight the development of the system and our experimental validation to demonstrate its capabilities. But before we begin, let's briefly discuss why we might want lightweight hip exoskeletons. Workplace injuries, particularly in physically demanding jobs, are common throughout the world. In the US, approximately 2.8 million non-fatal workplace injuries occurred in 2017 alone. In China, over 3 million cases of disability can be attributed to workplace injuries. The application of exoskeletons for able-bodied people in physically demanding jobs may allow for injury prevention and could even allow for human augmentation, enabling the lifting of heavy loads, for example. Assistive exoskeletons in the workplace may be a tremendous innovation towards a healthier work environment. Those in need of mobility assistance in their everyday lives also stand to gain significantly from the development of portable exoskeletons. Individuals who have lost mobility due to osteoarthritis or multiple sclerosis, for example, may be able to regain that mobility with the assistance of robotic exoskeleton systems. Unfortunately, the progress of portable exoskeletons has been slow to unfold. State-of-the-art systems are heavy and bulky, increasing human metabolic cost. Or they're not portable at all, but tethered and thus useful only in laboratory or clinical settings. Many of these issues come down to the robotic drive systems for these exoskeletons, which tend to use low-torque motors with rigid transmissions. In addition, these systems tend to rely on some prescribed movement, like a steady, consistent gait, and don't allow for quick changes that humans often make so naturally in the real world. To address these problems, we have developed an ultra-lightweight actuator and integrated this into a soft robotic exoskeleton to allow for comfortable and portable mobility assistance. This brings me to our quasi-direct drive actuator. As I noted, while several attempts have been made to develop these robotic exoskeletons, the current state-of-the-art systems suffer from several key limitations. First, a truly useful robotic exoskeleton must allow for back drivability, or the ability of the human user to manually actuate the joint when no actuation is present. These systems thus must have low impedance. Additionally, robotic assistance must be highly responsive to allow for rapid, unexpected motion of a human user. Thus, these systems must also have high controller bandwidth to allow for appropriate response times. Of the existing actuation methods, conventional geared motor actuation is problematic for exoskeleton applications due to its low back drivability and low efficiency. Likewise, series elastic actuators have inherently slow response times and thus low bandwidth. Both of these actuation methods are, th are thus thus pose difficulties for use in exoskeleton applications, where these important criteria must be met. Quasi-direct drive actuation, however, improves upon these systems, and through use of a high torque density motor and a low gear ratio transmission, achieves both high bandwidth and exceptional back drivability. As can be seen in the video clip here, back drivability allows the device to achieve low impedance or high compliance, and thus this actuator will rotate under very low loads. For a user, this essentially means if the actuator is turned off, they are able to use their limbs as usual without feeling restrained by the exoskeleton. As noted previously, high bandwidth is also a critical design requirement, as it allows for fast response to unexpected human movement. As shown in the chart here, previous systems have been unable to meet both of these requirements. However, our QDD system was designed specifically to fulfill both of these important needs. Another important design criteria for human assistive actuators is the ability to achieve high torque outputs at low speeds. Conventional actuators such as DC motors only offer low torques and high speeds and are only able to meet the torque speed requirements of human users through non-back drivable gear reductions. Our motor, however, achieves high torque at low speed with only a small gear reduction, 
allowing for the necessary torque and speed while not impeding back drivability. In addition, our motor has exceptional torque density with a mass of only 244 grams and a nominal torque of 2 newton meters for a torque density of over 7 newton meter per kilogram. We integrate this motor into a complete actuation system consisting of an 8 to 1 gearbox, motor controller, and magnetic encoder. This complete actuation system weighs only 777 grams, is low profile, and has a high rated torque output of 17.5 newton meters. This actuator serves as the, as the critical component in our robotic hip exoskeleton. The plot shown here compares bandwidth and back durability as determined from a simulation. As can be seen from the top plot, bandwidth is significantly improved via the use of QDD drive system. While the torque required to back drive the actuator, shown below, is significantly reduced, resulting in superior back drivability. With this QDD actuator successfully designed, we next move to the integrating of this actuator into a portable hip exoskeleton. As can be seen in the table here, our QDD actuator not only achieves excellent control bandwidth and back drivability, but also achieves significantly higher torque density as compared to existing technologies, making it an excellent actuator for improving human-assisted mobility. We combine this quasi-direct drive system with a comfortable frame and thigh brace to allow for robotic actuation of the hip. We also incorporate a control board, wireless inertial measurement unit, and load cell to provide angular and force feedback for bidirectional actuation and torque control of this joint. In this video clip, we can see how easily this exoskeleton can be donned. This is important to ensure ease of usability. Here we can see that this exoskeleton does not impede the user's kinematics, allowing for freedom of motion across all degrees of freedom. It is also important that the exoskeleton be easily doffed or removed. And of course, with regard to function, this system must allow for varying walking speeds without impeding the user. We see here the exoskeleton is able to easily track the user at 0.8 meters per second. Our benchtop experiments demonstrated that this system can produce 17.5 newton meters of rated torque and 45 newton meters of peak torque. And in practice with human users, we were able to achieve 20 newton meters of torque assistance. To more fully characterize this system, we also conducted specific evaluative experiments on the actuator and the full hip exoskeleton. In this plot, we can see the results of thermal load testing that was conducted. The actuator is able to provide 17.5 newton meters of continuous torque at 7.5 amps without overheating. To ensure the responsiveness of this system, we also performed a frequency analysis to determine the bandwidth of the exoskeleton system while under torque control. As can be seen here, the torque controller is able to achieve a bandwidth of 62.5 Hz, far outside the range of any typical human motion. The back drivability of the overall exoskeleton was also evaluated. This plot shows that the maximum torque required to back drive the exoskeleton is approximately 0.4 newton meters. Finally, we evaluate the torque controller's ability to successfully maintain 20 newton meter torque assistance of one human user during walking and squatting activities. The system demonstrates a maximum of 6.35% RMS error while walking at 1.4 meters per second, and performs even better at lower speeds. In addition, the system successfully tracks the squatting activity with only 3.65% error. In conclusion, we have developed a high-performance quasi-direct drive actuation-based hip exoskeleton. This system is lightweight, highly back-drivable, with high control bandwidth and a high nominal torque output. While human performance data is still needed to further validate the utility of this system, 
and to demonstrate improved performance over state-of-the-art, we believe we have made a significant step towards a truly portable, robotic-assistive hip exoskeleton. Thank you for listening, and of course, thank you to all of our collaborators and funding sources for this project.